Welcome back guys. <clears throat> uh, today I'm taking a look at Makulu, uh, the newest XFCE version. And um, so far so good. Now the, the last time I looked at Makulu, I believe they were using Cinnamon as an interface, as the desktop environment. And uh, I had multiple problems uh, concerning the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, and so this time around, I am going to, I'm testing it on the same machine, same, same hardware. Uh, so I'm assuming that's after all of the testing that's gone on for this particular uh, distribution, uh, everything should work fine. So that, that's the first thing I'm going to do uh, is go to the driver manager. <clears throat> and it's a nice visually it's a nice looking uh, distribution uh, I did disable variety as a wallpaper changer because I'm not crazy about most of the wallpapers but um, I'd rather have something a little bit more plain but anyway um, it's showing me as the NVIDIA 352 as the recommended driver so I'm going to apply the changes and then I'm going to reboot the machine and hopefully everything uh, goes well now for some reason it kicked back to the X server I'm going to click on NVIDIA and apply changes again and it seems to be uh, not working properly so let's do NVIDIA 352 one more time now this is using I believe the uh, Linux Mint um, I looked at the sources and I I think it's pulling in most of the Linux Mint um, updates it's using the Linux Mint updater I believe it's using the Linux Mint driver manager but for some reason it is not taking the 352 so click that again apply changes it starts to do it but then it it defaults out for some reason I'm gonna reboot the machine and see what happens so Guys, I'll be right back with you. Uh, don't go away. Okay, guys, welcome back. I rebooted, um, and it still says X Server X Org Video Nouveau. Now, the last time I uh, reviewed this particular distribution with the Cinnamon, uh, I had the same problem with the driver. Yeah, and then finally, after installing multiple times, it told me that I had NVIDIA 352 but when I checked the system I didn't so let's see now I uh, when I first booted before it told me my system was up to date once I rebooted just now it told me I had updates so I ran the updates and now I'm gonna try NVIDIA 352 one more time so I'm checking off NVIDIA 352 and apply changes and hopefully it'll go through the process it does not it crashes out it goes back to X server it will not let me uh, apply the Nvidia driver so it looks like the particular issue is still not resolved now it looks like from what I read if we go to the Makulu website, and let's do a search on Makulu. <clears throat> now, if I go to the Makulu website, basically it says that 
this Makulu edition, which is the XFCE, <clears throat> is a hybrid of some sort. It says that it uses Debian and Ubuntu. Now, to me, it looks like pretty much any other Ubuntu distribution <clears throat> in that it runs off Ubuntu and uses Debian for package management. So it looks about the same uh, as a Linux Mint, for example. But when I run Linux Mint and I run their driver manager, I have no issues. And so I'm just wondering what exactly is the difference. Maybe Jacques, if he sees this, can t uh, shed some light on that. What is the difference, actually, between Makulu and, let's say, Linux Mint? What are the difference, other than the desktop wallpaper and the themes and things like that? <clears throat> but as far as nuts and bolts, what is the difference? Um... It says PPA supported out of the box, although this build has both Debian and Ubuntu features and software, making it a kind of hybrid. So I'm not sure what that means. It says it makes use of the Debian Software Center and some Ubuntu software repos. Well, that's, that can be said of any Ubuntu distribution. <clears throat> it does fully support the Ubuntu 1404 PPA feature. So I guess my question is, what is the difference between Makulu and uh, Linux Mint other than cosmetics? And since it's using Linux Mint's infrastructure, um, the update manager, and it appears it's using the driver manager. I'm just wondering why it's not updating properly. So, now other than that, if I look at the distribution as it is, it's very nice. Um, <clears throat> it's got a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of eye candy. It looks very nice, got a nice Akanki. Um, I installed OBS through the PPA, as I always do, um, and so I'm just not sure why I'm not able to load my NVIDIA driver. <clears throat> this machine is used for pretty much every distribution that I review, and uh, I'm not having this problem with any of the others, um, any of the other Ubuntu types. So. Um, Normally, the driver manager works very well. So, I'm not exactly sure why, but um, maybe Jacques can shed some light on that. Other than that, it's a very nice distribution. I wish I could dig into it a little more, but without being able to um, load my NVIDIA drivers, it's kind of pointless because... Um, you know, it's not, it's not doing for me what I need it to do. Uh, and that's unfortunate because, as I said, it, Jacques, it appears he's put a lot of work into this. And I know he does a fine job and he's very conscientious. Uh, but this is the second Makulu distribution that I've installed that has had this same problem. So, and I'm not running anything unusual. It's the... Uh, NVIDIA GT740. Um, everything else is pretty much run-of-the-mill. And as I said, with all of the other Ubuntu-based distributions, I haven't had really any issues uh, loading the NVIDIA driver. Okay, guys, so since I'm running two other Ubuntu distributions on this particular machine, I'm going to pop in. <clears throat> we'll do a comparison of the NVIDIA and then we'll hopefully we'll be able to provide a little bit more information to Jacques. So I'll be right back with you guys. Don't go away. Guys, I'm just tacking this on because uh, I am sitting in my um, Voyager Linux Ubuntu distribution. And I'm going to go through the same NVIDIA update 
and see how I do. So I am applying the changes. And let's see how we do. And it's actually recommending the same um, driver because it, it appears to be using the same system that Makulu uses. And it's going through no problem. And as soon as this is done, I will reboot and see if it took. This normally doesn't take too long, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll watch the process uh, in fairness to Makulu uh, just to make sure everything goes okay. Now the one difference so far is that <clears throat> This is a uh, Voyager Ubuntu, and as I'm applying the changes, uh, it actually shows progress. The Makulu, for some reason, kicks right out. Um, it doesn't show the progress bar for very long, and certainly doesn't finish the process. So this looks like it's almost done. Now it's showing that it's completed um, and so I am going to reboot to see if it actually took I'll be right back guys okay guys <clears throat> I am back <clears throat> rebooted and let's take a look at the uh, the system itself additional drivers shows 352.63 and let's take a look at the NVIDIA setting software and that shows that I'm running 352.63 <clears throat> so this is the exact same machine running uh, Voyager Ubuntu um, and everything has loaded properly so I just want to point that out <clears throat> um, to help Jacques uh, determine what type of issue is uh, involved with Makulu. So that is it for this video, guys. I may try one more Linux Lite. I might try one more to see if I have any issues at all. I'll be right back with you guys. Don't go away. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, it, this is Linux Lite, and I'm doing a comparison just to see if uh, there are any issues with the NVIDIA driver. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, I believe it's already installed. And so if I bring up my NVIDIA, 352.63, if I pull up the uh, drivers, and I believe they're using the same driver manager. So if I pull up the drivers, <clears throat> you can see that I've already gone through the process and I'm running 352.63. So, <clears throat> Linux Lite, no problems. Um, Voyager Ubuntu, no problems. Uh, Makulu <clears throat> still has an issue with the NVIDIA driver. And so, um, Jacques, if you're watching, um, if, you, if you'd like me to try uh, installing any kind of a patch or a bug fix or if you do introduce a bug fix to resolve this please let me know and I will implement it and finish up the review because I do uh, like the uh, basics of the 
of the distribution. It's just that I cannot get my uh, NVIDIA to load properly, which normally does load properly. So that is it for this review of Makulu. Um, once this issue gets resolved, I'll do a full review. And uh, I'll keep you posted on that if anything develops. Jacques, if you're watching uh, and you want me to try anything, of course, I'm willing to do that. Uh, or if you want to try some type of a bug fix, uh, shoot me the file and I'll, I'll certainly give it a try to see if we can get this resolved. So that is it for this abbreviated Makulu uh, distribution review. Guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.